Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Thank you for 500 subs which we completed last month and thank you for showing your support. So in this video, I am going to create this cool supermarket scene. So let's dive into the video. Start with the general scene setup. First I will be making a grocery stand using loop cuts and extruding the segments. So we have this stand which will hold our baskets of veggies. Don't forget to use bevel in every model you make which will make it look more beautiful. Now I will make this basket and add 3 grooves to it. With the help of array modifier, I will arrange it on the stand. Select some of the baskets randomly and give them some details by slightly deforming them. So here we have our stand with baskets. Let's add some wedges to the basket. Select a basket and press slash which hides any other objects and focuses on the selected one. Add an ecosphere and turn it low poly. Now duplicate and arrange it randomly. Shade them smooth and arrange one more layer under it. Similarly for other groceries, I will use different rough shapes. It is really very necessary to decrease their uh, vertices cause they are so many and that's not good for a crappy laptop. Let's give them materials. Go to shadow mode and unwrap its 
UV by projecting it from the upper view. I will use project mapping technique to give them materials. Now align the UV on the image accordingly. Similarly for all the others. To get better results, I suggest you to individually project UVs on the image. Here I have filled the baskets randomly. Now let's add texture to the stand, a wooden texture. Simply press Ctrl Shift T with the Node Wrangler add-on on. and select textures while you want to add same for the baskets a uh, metallic texture I will unwrap them all just to give them variance. Let me show you in the render view. Still there is something missing, the price tags of course. For that I have used this image from one of the supermarket and projected its UV on the price tag. Now I got few more tags and arranged them. Let me show you in the render view. I am going to make a plastic bag roller using the cylinders and project its material to the actual image of plastic bag roll.
I also added these posters of advertisement from this image. Now select everything related to the grocery stand and print it to the wooden stand. After the grocery stand, I am going to make the stand for snacks and cold drinks. Everything like that, you know, one of the section of a supermarket. Just using a plane. But to make a model life like you have to remove too much sharpness from it like I bevel this stand. But this is one without beveling and shading smooth. You can see the difference right? Now I will add the items on the stand. For that I have imported this background image using cylinders. I will roughly block it out in the shape of the items there. Now I have merged all the objects as one object. I add the same background image as its material. Then I have unwrapped it from the front view. This will project UV of the objects as it is in the background image. Arrange the UV projection in the UV editor and we have our items. For more better results, you can individually project each item on its image.
here I have arranged these items on the stand and use a modifier you can place them randomly to create variation so you see I have projected the UVs individually to give them perfect texture Then I also have added some advertisements like this board and this strip for more details. Let's add a plane which will be our flow. Add this style material using not regular or manually. I have removed this roughness node to make it more shinier. I will arrange these here on the floor. Add an array modifier to the items stand. I will separate one of them and rotate it to get some variance. Duplicate that one and place it here. For a support I will add two pillars using a cube. Place it near grocery stand and one near item stand. I think this must be a bit far and pillars need to be shorter. Okay. Let's add a camera in the scene to know more better arrangements. Increase the resolution to ultra wide screen and focal lens to 25mm. Okay. A real quick view in render view. Great. I will just quickly change this board to green one now I need a huge freezer in this scene so I will hide everything 
and add a background image of this freezer I will block out the shape of the freezer and place it in the scene Project its UV to the image with a metallic value 1. Don't forget to add glass material to the door. I will place some bluish area lights under the freezer as you may have seen in the stores Duplicate the grocery stand and place it beside the freezer to fill that area. And yes, don't forget to randomize the groceries. I think I need to place the camera more closer. Alright. This should be more closer. This pillar needs to go behind the stand. Okay. For the roof, I have downloaded these industrial images from textures.com, link in the description. I will use these images to make walls and the roof of the supermarket.
Let's give pillars their textures. I will give it a concrete texture but with that I will use texture paint to add some peel of stickers and photographs just for more details. Supermarkets are full of advertisements and offers so I am going to add some more posters and boards of ads. I model a dress bin using the wireframe modifier on a cylinder. Also a hand carrying basket with the same.
place it in a stack near this one. Now trolley cart is the most important thing for a supermarket so let's model it. This is a robot character I modeled previously which I appended in this scene. The workflow of this robot is flashing in the I button so definitely check it out. I added this inhuman character in the scene who is shopping and he is rich without IK.
now it's time for lighting so you can see that it's lagging so much this video here this part is almost four times speed and still it's slow i have i3 third gen and 4gb ram with intel hd 4000 graphics it's good that my machine is not melting for this zip i can barely move my mouse Oh, thank god. I will use area lights with more focus to our character. and these point lights near this dark area So this is the scene which is rendered out and this is after compositing the scene. I gave it a bluish dark night like vibes. In addition I added this lighting structures, uh, spotlight to the character and this warning sign kind of dark <laughs> and also depth of field. So this is the final scene rendered out. So again thank you guys for your support and I would really like to answer your questions in the comment section down below. So if you learn anything from this video please leave a like and make sure you subscribe for more videos. Thank you.